my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about importance and components of balance of payment for UGC net in commerce. So what do you mean by balance of payment? Balance of payment is systematic record of all economic transaction between residents of country and rest of world. Balance of payment is systematic record of all economic transaction between residents of country and rest of world. That means balance of payment shows receipts of goods which we export receipt of services which we given receipts of capital which we transfer in another country plus it also include payment made for imported goods services and capital received if export are more than import that means our balance of payment is in surplus but if import are more than export that means our balance of payment is in deficit but why balance of payment is very important economic health balance of payment shows economic strength and challenges for example india's balance of payment currently showing a surplus it indicate economic position of our country is improving currency value balance of payment help to understand whether currency is appreciating or depreciating currency appreciation means when value of our currency increase as compared to another uh, currency and currency depreciation means when value of our currency decrease as compared to another currency if our balance of payment is going in a surplus from a very long time period that means value of our currency will appreciate but if our balance of payment going in deficit from very long time period that means value of our currency will depreciate next importance of balance of payment is trade policy balance of payment help government to decide their trade policies such as tariff and quota for example your balance of payment is in deficit so government will increase tariff as tariff increase import fall eventually deficit in balance of payment also fall monetary policy balance of payment help in monetary policy but how because balance of payment explain changes in money supply and money supply is very important uh, in monetary policy but how balance of payment explain changes in money supply by showing how much currency is coming in our country and how much going out next is the uh, balance of payment shows international economic uh, position if your export are continuous increasing there is more demand for your product in international market your balance of payment continues going in surplus that means you have strong international economic position now we'll see components of balance of payment balance of payment keep record of a transaction any transaction that flow money into our country will credit in balance of payment account any transaction that flow money into our country will credit in balance of payment account as we know when we do export in return we receive money that means money is flowing into our country that's why payment received through export will credit in balance of payment account because any transaction that flow money into our country will credit in balance of payment account on the other hand any transaction that flow money out from our country will debit in balance of payment account as you know when we do import that means our money is going in another country or we can say that money flow out from our country that's why payment made for imported goods will debit in balance of payment account because any transaction that flow money out from our country will debit in balance of payment account balance of payment mainly have two components current account and capital account components of balance of payment means what we include in balance of payment we include current account and capital account in our balance of payment first of all we will see current account current account include visible items in visible items unilateral transfer income receipt and payment visible item means all commodities which we can see touch and measure for example machinery tea cloth etc import of visible item will debit in balance of payment account obviously our money is going in another country but export of visible item will credit in balance of payment account because we are receiving money through export 
इनविजिबल आइटम विच वी कांट सी टच और मेजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल सर्विसेज ऑफ शिपिंग बैंकिंग एंड इंश्योरेंस इम्पोर्ट ऑफ इनविजिबल आइटम विल डेबिट एंड एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ इनविजिबल आइटम विल क्रेडिट नेक्स्ट इज यूनिलेटरल ट्रांसफर यूनिलेटरल ट्रांसफर मीन्स वन वे ट्रांसफर ऑफ आइटम फ्रॉम वन पर्सन टू अनदर पर्सन वन वे ट्रांसफर ऑफ आइटम मीन्स वेन वी गिव समथिंग विदाउट एक्सपेक्टिंग एनी थिंग इन रिटर्न फॉर एग्जाम्पल डोनेशन एंड गिफ्ट वेन वी आर रिसीविंग डोनेशन एंड गिफ्ट फ्रॉम अनदर कंट्री इट विल क्रेडिट इन बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट अकाउंट बिकॉज मनी इज कमिंग इन अवर कंट्री बट इफ वी आर गिविंग डोनेशन एंड गिफ्ट इन अनदर कंट्री इट विल डेबिट इन बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट अकाउंट बिकॉज अवर मनी इज गोइंग इन अनदर कंट्री इनकम रिसिप्ट एंड पेमेंट दैट मीन्स फैक्टर पेमेंट एंड रिसिप्ट इन फॉर्म ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेंट प्रॉफिट एंड वेजेस If we are receiving money in form of interest, rent, profit, and wages from another country, it will credit in balance of payment account because money is coming in our country. But if we are making payment in form of interest, rent, profit, and wages, that means our money is going in another country, so it will debit in our balance of payment account. Now we will see capital account. Capital account include loans and borrowing. Investment to and from abroad, foreign exchange reserve, all types of loans and borrowing that you give and receive from abroad, either private or public, will include in capital account. If you receive loans from a foreign or foreigners do repayment of your loans, so that means money is coming in your country, so it will credit in balance of payment account. But If you give loans in a foreign and do repayment of your loans in a foreign, that means our money is going in another country, so it will debit in balance of payment account. Investment to and from abroad, all transaction of investment like share and real estate. If you do investment in foreign, that means our money is going in another country, so it will debit in balance of payment account. If foreigners do investment in our country, that means money from another country is coming in our country, so it will credit in balance of payment account. Uh, foreign exchange reserve, foreign exchange reserve, we mainly include foreign currency. As we know, in order to receive foreign currency, we have to give our currency. If foreign exchange increase, that means our more money is going in another country. That's why when foreign exchange increase, it will debit in balance of payment account. If foreign exchange fall, it will credit in balance of payment account. So this is all about balance of payment. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.